What behemoth can swallow a great white shark, turn one of the most powerful predators of the seas into a defenseless plaything? The mysterious fate of the great white shark Alpha has occupied researchers for two decades. Now experts believe they have finally cracked the mystery, but the solution is more disturbing than we can even imagine. Do giants from prehistoric times lurk in the deep sea? Stay tuned and get to the bottom of this gripping mystery together with us. Inexplicable Incident The Australian researchers had really not expected this. In 2003, they equipped a healthy 3-meter-long great white shark with a tracking device to find out where the imposing predator and its conspecifics roam off the west coast of Australia. Christened Alpha, the female was supposed to provide marine biologists with important new insights into the way great white sharks live, but instead, she gave the experts one of the greatest mysteries in recent research history. About four months after the experts had attached a tracking device, they found themselves at an absolute loss. The faded device had washed up on the beach. Far more confusing, however, was the information that the subsequent data analysis revealed. On December 24, 2003, around 4 in the morning, Alpha had traveled a very long distance at breakneck speed. It was as if the shark had switched to hunting mode to chase a very prey animal. Alpha then plunged around 580 meters into the depths and experienced a puzzling rise in temperature. Specifically, the thermometer climbed from 7 to nearly 25 degrees Celsius. In the days that followed, this temperature value remained constant, with the transmitter moving at depths between 0 and 100 meters, ultimately washing up at its eventual location. For the experts, the collected data told a story that was both gripping and disturbing. Alpha had by no means gone on the hunt. No she had become the hunted herself. It is well known that the water temperature decreases with every meter you go down. 580 meters below the surface, it can only be 25 degrees warm in one place, inside the body of an animal. This also explains why the tracking device was so strangely faded when it was discovered. It had been attacked by the gastric juices of a living creature. However, a fundamental question arises at this point. Who or what is capable of eating an adult great white shark? In fact, the list of their natural predators is extremely sparse. With a dead weight of up to 3.5 tons, it is actually only the orcas that can pose a threat to the imposing predatory fish. The problem is they do not go to such great depths. In addition, the digestive tract of orcas is warmer than 25 degrees Celsius. Scientific Errors Already Qui-Gon Jinn knew there is always an even bigger fish. But how can this Star Wars quote be applied to reality? Are there really predatory fish in the depths of the oceans whose dimensions go beyond any known limits? Some people take this question and spin it a bit further. Is it possible that even the Megalodon has managed to survive to this day? With an estimated length of no less than 20 meters, the Colossus from prehistoric times advanced to become the largest known shark in the history of the Earth. However, According to our official knowledge, the Megalodon became extinct 3.6 to 2.6 million years ago. But could it really exist despite all the information we have gathered? At this point, we should not forget one thing. The oceans, especially the deep sea, still embody the great unknown in large parts. So far, only 5% of the ocean floor has been explored. Even the surface of the moon has been mapped significantly more extensively. While experts in the past were rock-solidly convinced that life could not flourish in the extreme world of the deep sea under any circumstances, we are smarter today. From bizarre deep sea anglers to whimsical Dumbo octopuses to disc bellies cavorting more than 8,300 meters below the surface, the ocean's secluded regions are brimming with inhabitants. What's more, the deep sea actually represents the largest habitat on Earth. It covers 65% of the Earth's surface and is thus larger than all the continents put together. But that's not all. The hypothetical return of the Megalodon would not be the first time that a creature believed to be dead is actually alive and kicking. The best-known example of these scientific errors is the story of the coelacanth. For decades, researchers agreed that the bony fish up to 2 meters long disappeared from the terrestrial scene 65 million years ago. However, the coelacanth was unaware of its official status. 
which is why it was netted by a fisherman off the coast of South Africa in 1938. While the Tarsier shark has existed in its present form for at least 125 million years, marine biologists made another sensational discovery in 1976. Off the coast of the Hawaiian island of Oahu, they captured the previously completely unknown basking shark. Since then, the newly discovered shark species would be sighted several more times. The largest specimen measured so far had a length of 5.6 meters. However, experts assume that there are still significantly larger representatives. Rise and Fall However, the megalodon and the basking shark differ in one major way. Basking sharks are not predators. Thus, the prehistoric colossus was probably an apex predator that preyed on whales. However, the species discovered in 1976 is likely to be mainly satisfied with krill. Some calculations showed that the biting power of a megalodon was up to 10 times stronger than that of the great white shark. And although no one could be dangerous to the giant, according to our official knowledge, it disappeared from the scene for all time. But what killed the megalodon? Well, this question has not been conclusively clarified. Basically, researchers assume that it was at home in the upper zones of warm seas. However, the formation of the land bridge between North and South America could now have blocked the way to precisely those warm waters in the western Atlantic. Some researchers believe that it was likely that other predators, such as great white sharks or orcas, preyed on the megalodon. In fact, the different animals may have come into direct contact with each other. We know from orcas that they also hunt large whales in groups, and perhaps they also took the megalodon into their collective sites. The great white shark could in turn have targeted the younger animals. It is also possible that the megalodon became a victim of its own prey. As the whales developed increasingly advanced tail fins and swimming muscles, it simply could not get a grip on them. Added to this is the fact that many whales moved to the cooler polar regions in the Pliocene, where the swimming giant simply could not follow them. It is probably most likely that the megalodon ultimately succumbed to a combination of all these factors. If one follows the explanations of the proven experts, then the speculations of the hobby sea researchers are simply groundless. Thus, the cryptozoologists are of the opinion that megalodon could have succeeded in withdrawing in the course of time into the deep sea where he floats around up to the present day. However, to do so, it would have had to completely change its ancestral behavior and its entire anatomy within a very short time. But if modern existence of megalodon is categorically ruled out, what is the enigmatic tooth analysis from 1959 all about? A sign of life? At that time, the zoologist Vladimir Kometsky spoke out in the scientific journal Nature. The researcher, who was in the service of London's Queen Mary College, had shortly before analyzed two megalodon teeth that had been discovered by the HMS Challenger in 1875. In detail, the scientist's main focus was on the manganese dioxide layer that had formed around the fossils. Since the thickness of the deposit increases by 0.15 to 1.4 millimeters per millennium, it could be used to determine the exact age of the teeth. Ultimately, Cherneski came to the conclusion that the dentition fragments are between 11 and 24,000 years old. Or in other words, if the megalodon lived until 11,000 years ago, it is almost likely that it is still with us today. However, we should not fail to mention that the analysis at that time is by no means free of criticism. For example, manganese dioxide deposits are subject to a variety of factors, which is why they are not actually considered a reliable means of data age in expert circles. However, it is undisputed that some deep-sea sharks can reach astonishing dimensions. The already briefly mentioned goblin shark, for example, can grow up to 6 meters in length. Greenland sharks even scratch the 8-meter mark. Found at depths of up to 2,200 meters, we also have to deal with swimming Methuselahs. The oldest known specimen was a whopping 512 years old. Similar to the lifespan of Greenland sharks is their appetite. Seals, polar bears, and even the leg of a human being have already been found in their stomachs. We see so really big sharks exist, living in the deep sea and growing significantly larger than the great white alpha. However, the corresponding animals are clearly inferior to the great white shark in terms of strength and bite force, which is why the experts do not believe that they devoured alpha. But who was it then? 
Apart from the megalodon theory, two culprits are seriously discussed – a sperm whale or an even larger great white shark. At over 20 meters long and weighing up to 50 tons, sperm whale bulls are known to dive more than 1,000 meters into the depths, hunting squid. In the process, they do not shy away from confrontations with giant squid. And even if cannibalism among great white sharks is very rare, it cannot be ruled out 100% in the case of Alpha. However, even this assessment is accompanied by a big catch. The temperature in the shark stomachs is 18, not 25 degrees Celsius. Who knows, maybe Alpha is ultimately killed by an unknown super predator fish, which is still waiting to be discovered by us. And with that, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date from now on. And now we're interested in your opinion. Who or what has eaten Alpha? Is it possible that the Megalodon survived until today? Or are there colossal super predators in the depths of the oceans that have successfully hidden from us so far? We're looking forward to your comments.